Hi guys, it's Christmas time and it's my favorite time of year and I'm almost sure it's yours as well. Now, if you haven't been feeling the Christmas spirit, you're probably beginning to feel it about now and you may want to just dress up your home a little bit to make that feeling, to bring about that full Christmas feeling. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna look at some quick decorations that can be done to make your home sparkle for Christmas. I have a sideboard at my entrance, which I'm going to decorate to give a warm welcome to my home. And these are some of the things I'm going to be using. Some are a few of my favorite things. One of the things about garlands or even artificial trees which you have stored away for an entire year, when you take it out of the box or you unfold the garland, it's important that you pull the pieces up so it comes alive. Um, so they will normally come looking like this and flat, but then you actually go through, and you do that for your Christmas tree as well, if you're doing one, and you just pull it up so it comes alive. You do the same thing if you have artificial flowers, like uh, artificial poinsettias. And I'm gonna use a few on here, so I'll show you the same thing. All right, so I've put one up already and I'm gonna do the other one because like I said, I want it to be very full. Oops, it's falling over. All right, maybe I should unwind it first and then add it. This is a circular one, which you get in most of the stores that sell decorative items. Um, so you see it comes out pretty flat and not saying much. Okay, so this one has done pretty much half of it, or a little more than half, and I'm gonna start this one here and bring it up. It's a little long, so I'll bring this piece around here. It doesn't have to look exactly the same in all the areas because nothing in nature is exactly the same. Plants are usually varied when they're grouped. And you just, like I said, pump it up a little so it looks alive. I could put a little bit more on this side. So I'm gonna pull it down a little, a little less here. Okay, you notice this part is not as full, but by the time the other items are added, you won't even see much of that. And I haven't made it exactly the same. I wanted this piece going up a little bit, like it's climbing up to the mirror. Come on. Do that, yeah. And just a little higher in some spots. I'm gonna make the, the arrangement relatively symmetrical, 
but not too symmetrical because you want that softness, you want that naturalness, as it would be in nature. Okay, um, luckily I have a light source, a plug behind this table. And so I decided that I'll add some lights. I'm just gonna do white lights because I have a quite a bit of color otherwise that I'm gonna be adding. So, lights. And when you're doing a garland or a Christmas tree, this is the best time to add the lights, not after you have put on your ornaments. It's a lot more difficult to add lights when the ornaments are on. I think I'm gonna use two strings. I try to hide the cord a bit, but it's not gonna work in all cases. The green one would have been great for this, but somehow this is the one I have. All right, so that's one string, and I'm gonna add another string of lights. Okay, so now I have the two strings and they're on different cycles. So there's an adjustment here for the lights that come like that. I wanna have them on this, I prefer to have them on the same cycle. I think that's it. A little blinking, a little bling bling. All right. Okay, so that's the garland, this one. And then I'm going to start now to add some structure, the more structural items, like, I just love this. I got it a few years ago. That's the thing with Christmas decorations. You buy and you add each year, but they last so long. I want to do some poinsettias. I'm going to put this one here, just a little bit. And then I think I'm going to kind of keep the poinsettias in the middle. There's another pot for this one. I was short of a pot for this one, so kind of going to hide it behind some garland. Maybe even twist some garland over it. Yeah. I've had these a long time. They're starting to fall apart now, it seems. Okay. Then I'm gonna add these candlesticks. I'm just playing it by ear. And then I found these this year in the store, which I thought these stars, I like them. So I'm gonna put those here. And there's so much here now going on. I don't know to hide a little bit, but that's okay. And then I found these and I'm just gonna add these Christmas balls. These are very pretty, very different. It has a cord because it would hang on the tree, but I'm not hanging it. So I'm kind of hiding the cord and having the garland hold it in place just twist the cord around don't want to cut it off because i may want to hang this on the tree next year let's put one over here and another one over here so it's relatively symmetrical but it's pretty soft I think I'm going to do two here for volume. One, 
need another one of that. So I'll check my bag. Yeah, I found one. Oh, by the way, um, paper clips open like this. I don't need them for this, but when you're doing your Christmas tree, it is much easier to hang. If you just get those colorful paper clips, can't get this one out. Mm. This one is in place. So you put the paper clip there and you hang it on the tree, especially if there's nothing else to hang with. I won't need it for this. Add in as many as you wish. I found this in the store and I quite like it. And I thought I'd have it just hang a little bit at the front. This is not a drawer that we go into very often, so just have some hang there. I bought two. I'm gonna do another one over here. See, um, you would just play it by ear. I'm not really, I didn't have, I haven't rehearsed this or anything. Just working with the feeling. You like that? Then, I have some others. I'm gonna add some more. I have some white ones, I have some green ones. Different shapes. This one doesn't show as much, but it adds some texture. Put this over here. And I said I wanted it full. I'm gonna bring the poinsettia in a little bit. And I'm going to add some of this. It needs to be over there. This little space over here needs some as well. You do the same with the artificial flowers. Don't have them flat and put them on the tree or wherever you're placing them all crushed up, pump them up. Don't have all the, flower, the petals flat either because that's not how they would be in nature. Some up, some down. And I think I'm gonna add this here. I don't wanna cut the stems because I might use it in a different way next year. And I'll put one more over there. So you see, it's a bit symmetrical, but not too, not a stiff symmetrical design. Just fill in some spaces now. These are being used as fillers because I want it lush. I stand back and look at it. You don't have to make a large one. You could do it on your entrance table or any small table. If you don't plan to use your dining table, you could actually do a display like this in the center of the table. And I'm gonna light the candles. 
I hope they like this stain. Tell you it's not gonna light. I'm gonna have to dig this wick out a little bit more. Now, I have chosen to use these colors, or maybe these colors have been chosen for me because I've been collecting over the years. And you tend to add a few new ones each year, but you have most of them and you reuse. But you can use any color scheme you want. There's so much variety available in the stores. And just make sure it works nicely with your decor. So, there you have it my entrance table you come in my door and you know it's christmas these ornaments reindeers um, and I thought I'd just add them for a little whimsical touch not very Jamaican but that's okay I like them what this is all right um, if you're not if you don't know this actually is from the palm tree and the little fruits that have been attached here I don't know if the whole thing is called the flower but I know the fruits have now fallen off long time I've had this for over a year I had sprayed it white and it has just held up so well and I'm gonna use this now to make you're gonna make it with me uh, something to replace I mean if you have a wreath that's good but I'm not going to use a wreath on my door I'm going to use something that's a little bit more crazy all right so here we go I'm just gonna add some of these things like for example I'm gonna add this here at the base the Y is there, so I can twist it around a little bit and have this come up. Let's pull this up a little bit, bend it a little forward, I think. And that's that. And then because we have all of these spaces, we can then add these. They won't fall out. At least I don't think so. 
but they could actually be glued with a little crazy glue if you feel better doing that. I'm sticking this one in here. Um, can this one hold here? Yep. And then maybe a little one on the top. Okay. And then it needs some little streamers now. So now I'm gonna put this up top. And this thing is so accommodating. It actually holds the, let it go down so it looks like it's coming from this. Now remember, we're just playing this by ear. I've never done this before. Here's another one. I'm gonna put this over on this side. And you can just find different things. You could use ribbons for this. There, they're actually moving. But I don't think they'll fall out too easily. Okay. And then maybe I'll tie this one to the bottom. bottom oh that one fell out it means this one doesn't want to be there or maybe I could put it in here maybe I could put it in here this is a safe space for it and then I'm going to add this and just wrap around a little bit kind of almost like a bow Remember, especially the ribbons with wire would be very easy to use for this. And I now have something for my front door. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna add this as well. I just pulled this out of my bag. I'm actually not doing a Christmas tree this year, so I have all of these ornaments which I can use in different ways. And you don't have to have the same things, just experiment with what you have. Okay? All right, let me show it to you. What do you think? Okay, because I have a sideboard or an entrance table to which I've decorated, overflowing with decorations this time, um, I'm gonna do a small table arrangement for my coffee table. And this one I'm just gonna, I've always had this on my table with stones and other things. I've, I found this beautiful ca candle candle holder with candle, which I just love. It's a bit sparkly and iridescent. I'm gonna put that in the middle this time. And then I'm just gonna add, let me add a few stones. Um, I'm covered in sparkles. I don't know if you can see them. Sorry, Stephen. Stephen is my nephew who doesn't like sparkles. But at Christmas time, you need a bit of sparkle. All right, so I'm gonna add a few stones. I love stones. Not gonna put as many as I normally would have in here. Some the pretty stones. I thought I'd bought some sprayed pine cones, which you can use but I can't find them, so it, maybe I didn't pick them up. 
or maybe I didn't check them out at this store. But pine cones are always good. This is actually dried um, sweet salt. Sometimes that's how they turn up on the tree. That's when the birds, they don't get very ripe for the birds to eat them. So I'm going, these could have been sprayed as well, but another thing I had happening, I bought a can of spray paint and it wasn't working. So I'm going to add a few of these to this arrangement. And I have some tiny pine cones, which I'm also going to add. And of course, I'm going to add the color to connect it. Some of these red Christmas balls, small ones. I'll take off the, take off the paper clip. I'm not doing a tree this year, so I have quite an overflow of Christmas ornaments. So I'm using them in other ways. The problem with the Christmas tree is nobody wants to pull it down when Christmas is over and my Christmas tree is up until February in my house. So no Christmas tree this year. I think I need a few green ones. Oh God, this is a little bit too big, I think. This ornament I found in a store in Kingston a few years ago and I like it so much. It's actually a great, or great as we call it. This is the kind you'd use a great nutmeg. <laughs> nutmeg. And I'm just gonna add it to it because I like it so much. I have to make space for it. I'm gonna add it here in this corner. And then just put the pine cone there. And remember, we must light that candle. So, there we go. I kind of like it. What do you say? Some of you will be familiar with my window boxes because we featured this in another video, in a previous video. But it's looking a little down now. I'm going to remove the, the plants that are here for now and make, do a Christmas decor right here. And then in the new year, I will add new plants for the spring. So, I'm going to just take these out and give them a chance to rest, feed them up for the new year. And by the way, I'm so excited. My iris is finally blooming. And so is this purple orchid. Okay, I've already started to dress the planter boxes with the garland. And you'll see the difference here where I've kind of pumped them up as opposed to these that are flat. So I'm gonna do the same thing to these because you want it to look almost real. It can't be real, it doesn't look real, but 
as real as possible. So once you're doing a garland, you should always pull them out. Bend them a little bit. Not everything needs to be straight. And then it's basically it. For the garland, hug some down, some up, some down. All right. I think I like that. And these garlands will actually hold up. And I've chosen some ornaments as well, which I think will hold up for the season. They might burn out a little bit because we have sun. We have sun in the winter time in Jamaica. Pretty high temperatures. A little bit cooler though than, than summer, but nice, nice weather. All right, I've done that. Step back and look at it. I'm going to add some Ancetias. There's one there. I think of, I love mixing the different colors of Poinsettias. So we're going to put this one here. This one is going to need something to lift it a little. These will need to be watered. I'm going to need some height in here because this is pretty deep and I'm going to add some ornaments. So I'm going to use these, turn them upside down, put them in here. I've done this one already. And then I'm going to add ornaments to it. I like these very big ones. This one here. I feel like I need some more poinsettias. I'm going to get some more, one. more poinsettia here. I just think it needs to be fuller than it is. I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to actually use these to hold the kind of cradle the Christmas balls. Of course, you could glue them if you wish. And I may just add a little, little glue to these. going to add some some glue to these so they stay in place these poinsettias are best placed in a shaded area in this location there's not much sun for most of the day remember though to keep them watered
remember if you don't have window boxes you can also do this arrangement using beautiful planters I hope you got some good ideas to add some sparkle to your home. Have a wonderful Christmas.